Hey everybody, this is Dream, and today I'm going to be reviewing Ampventer. Ampventer is developed and published by Loopy Mood. Uh, it is $6.99 on Xbox, and it is an ID at Xbox title. Uh, you can also play this game on Xbox One, Xbox Series X or S, or Windows 10. Uh, so what is Ampventer? Well, it is a point-and-click adventure game. Uh, basically, you play as a little ant, and you need to pick up items and combine them in different ways in order to progress through the levels, in order just to do what you need to do in each area so for instance once you get to the point where you need to get the water droplet off of the top leaf you need to figure out how to drop it on the spider's head and then drop it down to the uh to the bottom leaf in order to complete that little area and eventually you'll complete the game uh this game is fairly short it's uh gonna take you about an hour to complete it's pretty straightforward it's not too hard to tell what you need to do um, with that said, there are some little walkthroughs available out there, if you really need them, but, uh, I don't necessarily think you will. It's pretty simple, uh, from a lot of perspectives. Anyway, the, uh, so basically, when, at the top of the thing, when you put your cursor to the top of the screen, the little drop-down menu pops up and you can combine items. The only items that combine light up when you, like, if you grab one of them and you pull them around, they'll light up if they're combinable and then like if you pull it that like that item down to the floor where you are then and move around you'll see where you can put it if there's a place in that area and again like i said there's off still very obvious uh in this game um i will point out that there was a glitchy achievement when the game came out but it has since been fixed so make sure to download the update before you uh complete the game uh so you can get that last achievement uh, that particular achievement is for falling 10 times, and so uh, if you don't do that like I did, and if you don't have the update, then you won't get that achievement in your first playthrough. Uh, but it's actually about, it only takes about 5 or 6 minutes to get to the, to get to the point where you need that achievement anyway, if that's the last one you need. Anyway, um, this game, like I said, is rather simple, uh, and it's a decent little game, but uh, it's not that exciting. Uh, for seven dollars, it's definitely overpriced. I think. Uh, I think for from the achievement perspective, it should be about three bucks. Uh, so wait to grab this until it's on sale. Um, however, the game like it's not that it's a bad game. Like it's kind of well made, but it's it's just not. There's not much to it. So um, I'm gonna give the game a six out of ten. Uh, aside from the fact that everything in the game works as it's intended, it's just not very long and there's not a lot of things to, in this game to even do and so as far as how long you're gonna want to spend time like trying to beat the game you know you're gonna take less than an hour and there's not really any replay value because you basically just have to do the same things over and over so that's pretty much all i have to say about this one uh just a short little game uh, if you do pick it up let us know in the comments what you think and have a nice day